Hello, I wrote an algorithmic composition today and I'd like to talk about some of the parts of the coding behind it and how it works. Um, when I started learning Max, I learned about this MIDI format message which allows me to send MIDI data to different tracks or different channels in Ableton uh, so I could have different instruments playing different MIDI information. And then I completely forgot about it and started studying like audio effects and um, sound design. So I'm glad I remembered that I could send this to different uh, MIDI outs. And then since I'm on Windows, I'm sending it to touch, uh, loop MIDI port. And then in Ableton, I on my instrument tracks, I select that as my input MIDI. And then I have the channel per what that MIDI format message says. And then it's receiving those uh, that MIDI information. So I'm glad that I remembered that so I can build some more complex MIDI devices and maybe some larger scale compositions like this. But this one was a really fast one because I have this uh, transport snippet saved which uh, effectively is sending, it's calculating even numbers. <laughs> I did this in such a weird way. For every even number, it sends a bang to the next counter. So that would like act as a subdivision for the next one because they're all half of each one. So just counting each two. Uh, and then sending these as rates and they're acting as my metronomes. So I can have each of these instruments playing at different speeds. And then recording them into Ableton. Uh, so that's how I did that, and how I recorded this composition with uh, kind of real sounding instruments instead of my own uh, built instruments in Max, or a Max for Live package that involves sound design instruments. Um, this is exciting. This is very exciting, and I I want to I want to uh, build a project where I like save sequences too. Anyway, that's another that's another time. Uh, I'm just gonna play my composition. Thank you for listening. Bye.